Um, we were talking briefly about, about some of the drivers, so that we, the, the, the PPN, the, the psychological profession's vision for England was, was an absolute key driver. But also, we've got the um, psychological professions, the very first uh, psychological professions workforce plan for England, and people will be familiar with that, with the five-pronged approach around grow, develop, diversify, lead, and transform. But also, two months ago, so June, um, we also had the publication of the NHS long-term workforce plan, which I know Helen and between Helen and Adrian are also going to give us some um, focus and attention to. And that does also have some quite explicit um, expectations around the expansion of psychological professionals um, and psychological approaches to improve uh, the, the health and well-being of our communities. So again, if those are um, resources that you're familiar with, please do seek them, seek them out. I'm not going to dwell too long on this, but I'm just going to give you a bit of a snapshot for those of you that don't, don't know much about PPM Midlands. So we were formally established in September 2020. And actually, Helen, I think it was one of our first conversations was February 2020, um, where we were saying, right, we can do this. And everybody knows what happened in March. So we decided to, be, to carry on, actually. And through the pandemic, we stepped up PPM, PPM Midlands. Um, we cover one of the largest geographical areas of, of England. Um, Adrian always, I think, has a look on his face when I say this, but we are. It's 11 ICSs because we are talking about the East and West Midlands. We're not talking about one or the other. We are talking about both. We are talking about a population that has over 40 NHS trusts, 39 of which employ in some form or the other psychological professionals, either through direct employment or through service level agreements. We also have over 100 higher education institutes that are in our area, and over a third of those are, are responsible for delivering training, accredited training for psychological professionals. So we have a huge array of expertise, a huge um, a range of um, opportunities for development, and a huge opportunity for us to really think about the way in which we can improve the workforce so that we can ensure better quality psychological care for our communities. I put this down as a changing team. So we are a changing team over, over the years. I guess I've been a constant, and, and Marilyn, up until next week, has also been a, a, a constant. Marilyn is our program manager who leaves us then. We've got James, we've got Nicola, Keris, who isn't here, but we've also got our leadership fellows and our experts by experience. So we have a number of individuals that together work to ensure that we, as PPN Midlands, are able to connect, to support, and to advise um, on all things psychological professionals in the area. Just some of our achievements, just to give you some of our, our numbers. So we've got over 1,500 members and, and rising. For those of you who are in receipt of our weekly bulletins, we do not speak to a member of the team and they can tell you how to get onto those. We try to monitor them, so we don't want to fill up your inbox, but you know, it, 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 there is some really good need to know information. We've done 18 showcase events. We've got more planned. We've got Psychological Professionals Week in November. And on the Thursday of Psychological Professionals Week, we're doing two sessions on, uh, with, the, with the Midlands pitch, focusing around cancer and our skills transfer model. So do look out for those. Those will be online. Connecting our 11 ICSs as well with the leads. Not in a way that says, look, here's your lead. Why aren't you doing something about them? It's saying, actually, we need to be working together at a system level. So you need to know who the people are in your area. And there's a whole array of other things that we have been, in, uh, we've been involved in. The critical friend responses are quite interesting. When Marilyn and I first started to capture this, Marilyn, I think we used to call it the Ask Funny Corner, because it used to literally be, uh, what, what, what's, what's, what's going on? And we thought, we thought, let's try monitoring it. But we've had, in the three years that we've been operational, over 1,000 of those types of requests that come in, asking for queries, clarification, or further information, which tells us there is a need. I just need to say I'm not the font of all knowledge, but actually what we are very good at with the PPN is connecting up and signposting people to where they need to go. So moving swiftly on, we've got a full overview of the morning. The agenda is in, in front of you. We are going to ensure that you have the breaks, and we are also going to ensure, that, uh, particularly lunch break, um, we might need to juggle around because of the unexpected um, trooping down the stairs, um, our plenary sessions, but bear with us on, on that. 
We've got two speakers joining us via MS Teams. So um, bear with us on the hybrid approach because it's going to be a bit of a first for us in this room. Um, there's going to be plenty of opportunity for you to connect. We've got some um, flip charts available. So if there are queries, comments, or things that you want to say, just post your thoughts and ideas on the, on the front. We'll also be running Menti. Uh, the Menti codes are at the, at the front, but if you want to make a note of that um, as well, because it's actually a, a really helpful way to share your thoughts and, and just gather some of the feedback. So I'll leave it on for a couple of seconds while um, colleagues just make a note of that code. You've got the QR code there as well, and we'll flash that up um, again for colleagues as well. We've got an event evaluation form, and you know, basically the messaging on this slide is that you're not going to get away without not doing an evaluation because we're offering it to you as a, on a QR code, so you can do it directly. Um, there will be paper copies that are available on your chair, and uh, one will also be sent out to you with your certificate of attendance as well. So we've tried to encompass it, but we really do need your feedback. Some of the takeaways we've got for today, stay connected with us. This is our um, email address. Um, do reach out for our um, weekly bulletin to make sure that you get it, that it's not going in into your junk um, folders. We're focusing very much about supporting the development of community practices. So our, um, two of our leadership fellows who are here today, Louise and James, are going to be talking about some of those um, plans later on this after, afternoon. And a big plug for Psychological Professionals Week. Um, there is an in-person event in London on the 15th of November where the primary focus is around um, physical health care and uh, psychological and physical health care <coughs> settings. Um, and on, we've got our sessions on Thursday, so please do support us in, in that. Enjoy the day and just thank you for being part of our PPN community. All the slide decks that will be I've taken for today will be available on our website, so look out for those um, as well. It's another cunning way for you, us to get you to join us and be a member, basically. But any queries, comments, please reach out to the team that are here today and enjoy the day. Take the opportunity to connect with each other, ask the questions that you want to, to ask um, and enjoy. Thank you. <laughs>